Interwoven Destinies, Mark Chagall and David Rubinger in Jerusalem, is one of those projects that comes along just once in a lifetime. When certain people happen to meet and there's a spark that catches, builds, and then captures the imagination, leading to something truly extraordinary. The Interwoven Destinies project is the brainchild of three art lovers who live and breathe art from their homes and respective places of work in Jerusalem. It was born out of their joint desire to commemorate the 30-year anniversary of the passing of Marc Chagall in a truly unique way. They searched the archives of Jerusalem Publishing Atelier, pouring over thousands of pictures documenting the history of Jerusalem and Israel until they uncovered 12 specific photographs never been released together. The photographs they chose were taken in the 1960s and 70s. Marc Chagall was back in Israel working on his stained glass and tapestry masterpieces and accompanied by David Rubinger, the legendary Israeli photographer. At first glance, these photos may not strike you as special, but as each photo's story is uncovered, each one and all of them together become larger than life, just like the two men who are at the center of this collection. David Rubinger is a legend in and of himself. His instantly recognizable, iconic photograph of three Israeli paratroopers after the recapture of the Western Wall in the Six-Day War has become a defining image in the history of Israel and the Jewish nation. David is not just a legend, David is a part of history, the history of the State of Israel from its inception until today as he captures the heart and history of the people of Israel through his eyes and camera lenses. Shimon Peres called Rubinger the photographer of the nation in the making. He was a Time Life primary photographer for the region and was awarded the Israel Prize in Communications for Photography, becoming the first photographer to receive this prestigious award. Visiting David's home in the heart of the Holy City can best be described as going back in time. It is a combination of a museum, a shrine, and an archive of the past 60 plus years of the Holy Land. The walls are completely covered with almost no space in between by photos he has taken documenting some of the most defining events in the short history of the State of Israel, as well as no less powerful images of the important yet simple people who are interwoven into this rich fabric of history. And Marc Chagall? Marc Chagall needs no introduction. His art is unique and yet universal, as his colorful works reference cubism, folkloric art, expressionism, surrealism, and other styles that he then combined with his own sensibilities as a Russian Jew. But we aren't going to talk about his art from a technical or stylistic perspective. That's already been done in many other places by many other people. Rather, we're going to tell a love story. A love story about his relationship with his Jewish identity, his people, and the state of Israel.